Hello and welcome back to today's lesson of 3D Drawing for Model Railway. We're going to continue in this lesson working on the jib runner for our camera shield and screen. Um, they're going to start by mirroring over some of these objects, like sort of these bodies that we've done so far, and then doing a bit more of the symmetrical stuff before we do another mirror again. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to make sure obviously the radio button's selected, and I'm going to combine the target body of the main chassis with the uh, WI that we drew last week. So I, I know where that is now, I can keep an eye and come back and change it if I need to. Um, say if I'm doing for one of the double O modelers, I could scale this up. Sometimes they like the WIs to be separate so they get a bit more uh, play with when they go to build the model. So we're going to mirror this body now and we're going to use the plane on the end here. So use the plane on the end here because there's a couple of symmetrical things we can draw that go symmetrically across the wagon, not along the wagon. So if we look at the photos, first thing is there's like a little hopper here on the end. Um, now looking at the photos that I've got, there's a, looks like there's a lot of what used to be used sleepers, they're probably used as um, supports for the track jacking. And um, there's um, this I beam here with a couple of shackles on. Now obviously that's not symmetrical. And I wouldn't draw the uh, planking symmetrical, but the hopper certainly, other than the dents and dinks and stuff in it, would have been symmetrical when it was originally built. So we'll, we'll draw that hopper up to start with. Okay, so let's have the body of the crane so we know which yep, it's this end that we're working on. Now if we look at the upper sketch here, we can see that we do have a diagram for it. Now it looks like it bends in slightly on the end here. So if we have a look at the photo, there definitely is a, a definitive kink on the end there. Okay, so we shall be aware of that. Obviously on this plan here, what we've got here is a water tank. Now, obviously we're doing the diesel cranes, so the water tank is not going to be there, but if you were going to do the, the steam version, that's the position you'd want it in. Okay, so I'm going to start with creating a sketch on the top surface of the wagon. And I'm just going to draw this whole hopper as a rectangle. So if I come into this corner like that, zoom out and across over here. And what I'm trying to do is line up this vertical and horizontal lines. I'm not worrying about the cutout for the moment. There. So what I'm looking at here now is that's the end of our wagon here and that's overhanging. So I'm just going to check the photos to make sure that is the case, which it isn't. So I do want to, to change that. So I shall snap that into that corner there. And if we look at the side profile, I've got the end of a hopper here. So yeah, that's reasonably close because we've got this mounting point here where the jib rests. So we'll go with what we've got there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is kink this corner in on the end here. I'm just going to use a, a line here. I'm going to find a point where the, the kink starts and then bring it in slightly. See, it's not a massive difference, it's only at 2.6 degrees, I think that's said. So it's a fine. That and that, and then we've got to find the whole edge here. Good, and then we should be able to just extrude. Oh, I've got on the box over here, that's fine, it's not an issue. What I should do is snap that to that point there. There's me getting carried away drawing the whole box hopper there rather than just half of it. Actually, let's move that all across. So let's do that. So it's fine there to there. Like that. So that it can't now move down. And then if we do that corner to that point there, then it moves what we want. Okay, so now we can select 
these features. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to create it as a new body initially because I want to shell this out. Tackle the sketch one. We can see it comes up. Yeah, there, two millimeters. I'm going to, as I say, create that as a new body so that I can then shell it out without worrying about it digging into the chassis. And we'll combine those afterwards. Okay, let's turn those two off. Okay, and then we can do as I say the shell tool, turn the tangent chain off. And let's shell in here. Short turn the tail as well, it's not an issue. Right, so we come in, I'm gonna do it 0.75 because I do want a little bit of strength there. And just to get rid of that bit, extrude that outwards. So we've now got like a three sided hopper there. Okay, um, cut and cut. okay, so it's put a floor in the bottom of the hopper, which I don't want. So if we take that, don't want to create a sketch. And we're going to extrude that downwards to that point there, 0.75. So that's now flush. Actually, we've got this overhanging. Let's let's go back into that, edit that feature. Let's do 0.5. So we've still got 0.25 floor, and that'll act as a floor under the bottom here. Okay, so that's that hopper there created, which I'm happy with. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw this eyelet here. So if we jump back into fusion, the position looks relative to the sole bar here, which we do have a construction plane on, which I think was that one, yeah, number four. If we come and we'll draw on that construction plane, make sure we select the plane. If we turn on the canvases, you can see the position of it's here. Let's draw a circle, center point circle. I'm going to go, you know, I think that's going to be 0.8. And then I'm going to draw another circle on the outside. That's going to be about 1.2 millimeters. And then we'll draw a line. If you select anywhere on the circle to start with, and then snap it into the top of the wagon chassis here, it will snap. Which it won't. So if we just do that, and we can tell that to be coincidence to there, and then we tell the line also to be tangent to the circle. Okay, so position here needs to just come back slightly, and center point of the circles. We now define that position to lock into place. Try again. There to there. So define the height of there. Okay, and then if we select those those profiles, leaving this one empty, and then we can extrude, extrude and we'll do inwards. We're going 0.4 millimeters, so it's fine, but not too fine, and it's joined good. Okay, so that's, that's that eyelet drawn there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is on the wagon here, we've got a little hop on that hangs down below the wagon that the jib sits in, that the hook sits in. You see that there's like a box shape underneath here. Okay, so what we're going to do with this one is we spin this around, we can draw on this back surface here. Have the canvas back on. So you can see its position on the canvas here, that line comes down there, across, and then up. Okay, so what we'll do. That's interesting actually. So the wagon's the right length, but this 
WR looks like it's in a different position. It is. That's seven foot three. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna to have to make an amendment on that. Let's let's fix that first. Um, delete. That coincidence. I'll go back and fix that that mirror. So we'll just do that body. So it's not moving over the the WI here. Okay, so again. You can see how things like that can, can crop up. It also looks like this frame comes in a slightly different position. So that's going to need to be fixed as well. Okay, let's, let's sort out the WI first. So if we copy that and then create a copy. So you can select create a copy here when this move copy jumps up. And then you can just drag that across. Let's get that lined up into position. Like that. Okay, so let's fix this now. Um do -do -do -do. Right, how's it gonna be the easiest way? Let's Let's create a sketch on that profile. First thing we'll do is we'll get rid of all this slot. So if we come down, let's draw a box like this. Uh, constrain that corner to there. So then we can select those profiles there, extrude, and then just cut those inwards. That's then gone. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is what I'm bearing in mind here when I do this is I've got a pattern this across to the middle one here. No, I won't because this hook's going to be in that middle one. That's not an issue. So let's extrude that face until we get to the right point down the corner here. Let's go in line like we did in the last one there, a bit off right. Okay, we've got a sketch on that front face, and we'll do a rectangle on that corner upwards. Coincidence that to that edge there, define the thickness. Seven and extrude this that inside face. So we've got that one sorted. And then we'll do the same again, get a sketch there. And I'm gonna drag that out slightly. Leave it there and then go into the front snap. Create that line, snap it to the top, and then oops, way to parallel that line to that line. Actually, fix that. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to need to move that in slightly so it matches the drawing and extrude. Interesting little difference there. I didn't, I didn't pick that up initially on the drawing. I didn't look at that. So we've got seven foot one here from the end of the wagon to the centre point of that axle, seven point three there. I'm assuming that is to do with putting the weight and the water tank on the centre point. I'm sure some people could fill me in on that. Yeah, that's that fixed. So let's go back to where we were drawing this hopper on this backside.
So okay, let's create a sketch. Start on the, the inside of the frame here. Let's create a line coming downwards. So we'll start at the top of the wagon frame and we'll come straight down. It's not going to snap to that bottom point, so we'll just drop it there. Let's escape and wait for the platform to catch up. And we can coincidence them in like that. Let's define position at the end of the wagon. And that's not going to snap to that corner. Although it doesn't look difficult to tell whether that comes to that corner or comes over here somewhere. Um, I actually think it actually comes slightly inwards, so I'm going to try and I'm going to go there. And this this line has to come all the way to the top of the wagon here, so we can create the hole. Let's try and match that up. Let's try that. So yeah, that looks better. Okay, and I can define that position to there. And put the angle in. Okay, so that's fully defined. And the reason I've just drawn the outline there is I can then extrude that top surface like that. Now if we have a look on the top of the wagon, yeah, we've got on the drawing here the, the hopper width. You see, interestingly, the wheels there. Obviously, we're doing it in, in scale format. If we spin that round, we have a look underneath. That wheel is going to be catching on the side of the, the frame here, which all good for fun when you do modelling like this. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is draw side and floor in. So we can come back onto this back surface, have a look on this sketch here. We've got that profile that's already drawn there, so we can extrude that. Hmm, interesting, can't we? Set start. By three millimeters, minus three millimeters. That's not what, that's not achieving what I wanted. Let's go back right. Okay, so let's create a new sketch then, and we're going to create it off of that surface. Let's draw a line down. It's not going to snap, so we'll just coincidence it. Like that. And then if we go and draw another line from there, this point here, when we come down, we can see we've got a parallel we've got the two little blue lines that are appearing halfway down that that line so we just bring that down get it in line with that one and then parallel line back there we go snap and then it's snapped if we extrude this in Minus 0.5 millimeters. Uh, what I'm being wary of here is whether this is going to interfere with this wheel, which is something we may have to be playing with. Yeah, we may have to play around with that that position, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, let's turn that canvas off. Top one. Okay, so I'm going to create a sketch now on this little bit here. And let's 
slice it, it goes through to see the corner, and we're going to draw from that point, and come down, it's not going to snap, thankfully, helpfully, but let's bring that down, coincident with that corner, Uh, why won't you snap? Snap the corner keys. Okay, so let's try coincidence. Let's try horizontal vertically on that. No, it worked. Helpful. I'll just drag it down a little bit then. Sketch. It could be because I've used that slice tool. So if we come back into the edit sketch, drag that back up, so it will snap now. Yes, now we're all. Okay, so we're going to extrude this one. Back into the right in that direction. Let's do 0.5 on the wall thickness there. Uh, let's cut and join that to the back in edit. Edit to join. Okay, let's get rid of this. We've just extruded the top surface downwards to cut it. So the next thing I'm going to do is maybe draw off of this line here. Let's draw a sketch of that. What I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to draw it inside. It's going to make the, the hopper slightly shallow, but it will. Um, Hopefully, stay away from that wheel. 0.5 high there. Draw that line. It's coming to that point. Snap it to the top. Get these two lines in parallel. And come all the way to the top there. That point has moved. And you horizontal. Vertically align with that position there. That's it. Okay, so now we can select that profile and extrude to that face there. Click to join. Okay, so now we've got that hopper shape. Let's have a look what the body lines. Body line. Not a problem, no. Okay, so this is where we've got to so far. We've got the hop on the top here. We've drawn this hopper in here and the little eyelet here. Next thing, obviously, I'll notice when we move this across, all this slot should be positioned relative. So you see how the bottom of these are in line here, these were set. So I'm going to have to go and fix those now, which again isn't going to prove too much of an issue because what I'm going to do is create a sketch in here like this, just a simple box. And then I'm going to select everything within that profile. And then I'm going to extrude them inwards to cut to that back surface. I should get rid of all of that lot. Select that back surface on the pane. Okay, so 
1.5. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll have to copy these over. So this is the benefit of fusion. You can see all these things and you can go back and change them. So all we've got to do now is find this lot within the history. Start there. So horizontal pattern. That, 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 that. that one, that one. That one. I'm just holding down control as I select all these. That, that. And direction. I'll come back and get the, the poor little in a second, so it's going to be sideways there. Actually, they're going to be the wrong way around. Right, let's let's get the supports first. suppress this feature here which is where I'll drag these forwards right. Undo that. Right. delete that feature see what happens in a minute That's fine. Right, let's find them again. Okay, so we're patterning that, that, and that to start with. Direction is going to be sideways. I only want two of them. Doing this by eye is going to go 45.3. Okay, the next thing we're going to pattern is we need to get all the rivets in this area here. Turn the canvas back off so we can see what we're looking at. Where are the Then ones and then we've got this one here which is those ones. Right. Drag them across now. Again we only want two of them. Let's see here between them. Forty five point three and moving them across by. Okay, um, is there an easy way to do these ones? Don't think there is. So think about this, if we change these to new bodies, let's find them. We can mirror them, I think. That's been a new body. No, no, actually, no, no, wait, wait, wait. If we just do offset plane on that face, 
and then we do mirror features. This might work. Where are they? Mirror on there. Okay. Where have they gone? There. So then, if we edit this feature and bring that back this square bit, then we can just move this around until we've got them where we want them to be. Ah, uh, they flipped upside down. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, edit feature. Go to 5.5. Do a bit more. There we go. Now we've got it. Okay. Uh, as, as you can see, though, it, things happen like that. You know, you've got to go into it and work out how best to go around fixing it. Now that that was pain, and it's it's my own fault for not spotting on the diagram here that there's a difference in the wheelbase. Um, but that's the beauty of Fusion is you've got this sketch history at the bottom here. We can go back quite quickly. Um, within I don't know, 10 minutes it's took to go back and fix that. So now that all we've got is body wise is the two W ions, which I'm going to keep separate there, I think. Uh, the hopper, let's combine that hopper to the body. So if we select the body and the tool being the hopper, combine them two. So now we've got the body and the two W lines. Let's turn that construction plane off as we're finished with it. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's fixed that. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video there. We've done quite a bit today. We've got that hopper done, eyelet, and the the bucket here that the, the hook fits in, and then we fixed this issue that we had here. Um, which, yeah, these things happen, that's the benefit of fusion, you go back and change these things quite quickly. Um, but yeah, that's, that's looking much better. And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that, that lesson. You can see how things can, can change and how they need to be fixed. So thanks for watching. Uh, please press the like and subscribe button.